Look at me, it's me not having anything better to do. Okay. Dare I visit the weapons master? He's annoying and stupid and probably worthless, and also I don't, don't usually want to deal with the extent of these training courses because that's a whole campaign in its own, but might as well take a little bit of a look. Maybe he'll unlock an ability or my meter or my red button or whatever. I, did, I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that one either. I'm literally not even looking at the floor. I was actually looking at the background because I thought I saw the entire uh, distant geography just pop in all at once. I was curious about that. No, not these guys again. I thought the guy I thought the other guy has to run up to you and catch you. I didn't realize that just these guys will just aggro on you for being nearby. Why are you why aren't you guys at like a, a host club or a bar? Why are you just all slob squatting in one corner together? Whoa! Fuck that guy! Oh. There we go. Whenever you make contact with any wall, of which there are plenty, you can't do the heat. And I just want to do the heat. Let me do the heat. Whee! Did you enjoy my spin dash? <laughs> Just exclusive nut shops just the, just the entire time. That's all I had into me. Platinum, them, you're dead to me. You. There you are, peasant. You mind not calling me that? The name's Tatsuo Shinada. Just in case you're interested. Tatsuo Shinada? Tis a peasant's name by a noble by a noble reckoning. Well, I have to admit, it's pretty average compared to yours. That you present yourself to me can only mean one thing. You wish to take lessons from me. Well, yeah, I thought I might check it out. But are your lessons really all that? <laughs> ha! Hearken to me, Shinada. You cannot judge me based on what you ere beheld. The skills I shall teach you are more precious than life itself. Of course, there is the matter of feudal service. I shan't lift a finger to help those who do not serve me. Maybe you forgot, but I saved you from those street punks. And that is why I deign to take you as my student. And so the debt is paid. Seriously? For a guy who talks about nobility, that seems awfully stingy. You serve me once, and I shall repay you in kind. Once. I must keep things fair for the other v my other vassals, after all. Okay, so what does a guy have to do to get some training around here? Anything's fine. I'm sure you can think of something, despite your addled peasant brain. Sheesh, you could at least narrow it down a bit. Okay, let me think. I'm pretty broke, so anything to do with money is out of the question. Oh, I know. Very well, speak. Man, could you be any more of an ass? Anyway, I've got some advice I can give you. You advise me? Don't be ridiculous. I don't take advice from peasants. Besides, my considerable prosperity could hardly be bolstered by your input. So you say. But you want a girlfriend, don't you? No, I do not. Oh, come on. This is just between the two of us. You really want one, right? Well... Yes. And mother's been pestering me about getting married, so perhaps... See? I knew it. Just relax and trust me, and I'll set you up. Hmm. Somehow I feel as though you've tricked me into revealing this. Yeah, the, the ultimate trick of... Come on! <laughs> you told me the truth. You, to you told me the truth, Leo Kuhn. And that's the right thing to do. Do not press your luck, you of lowly birth. But very well, I shall acquiesce. You must t make yourself useful in your faithful service of me. There will be no lesson until I'm utterly satisfied. Oh, you will be. Especially considering the bar is so low. 
What was that? You think to mock me? Of course not. Now we relax already? Fine. I'll take you at your word. Great. So the deal is, you give me a lesson if I if you like the advice I give you. Very well. I'm counting on you, Shinada. Do not disappoint me. Ah, there you are. What do you want? Let's talk about your life, bud. <laughs> what a change of pace. Okay, I'll give you some advice about your life. Must you be so immodest about it? Ugh, go on. Oh, you're clipping so hard. This is a bad camera angle to show. Before I help you get a girlfriend, I need, you, I need to know all about you. I'm going to ask you a few questions. All you have to do is answer. Here's a trick, as far as I can tell, about video game design stuff. Vi like, visuals. Uh, clipping is basically impossible to prevent. It just happens all the time. The trick in these cutscenes is just to not give camera angles that actively advertises it's happening. This happens a lot in Final Fantasy XIV, too, where I'm like, Why did you do that camera angle? That character always looks like that. You knew... Ah. Very well. Go on. Okay, let me ask you this. Have you ever had a girlfriend before? You already know the answer, but I suppose you want to hear me say it. No, I haven't. I see. Okay. How about a one-night stand or something like that? An aristocrat such as I would never commit such an abhorrent act. I would even hold hands with the damsel unless we were at least dating. Jeez, this guy's more naive than I thought. Okay, let me ask you this. What type of girl do you like, Leo Kuhn? A girl suits my aristocratic qualities. She must also be from a family of, of some standing. Finally, she must have, be equal parts intelligent and comely. <coughs> that. Never, never met a girl like that before. Or maybe I've been looking in the wrong places. What would you consider a relationship deal breaker? Speaking to any man other than me, naturally, which would be utterly inexcusable. What? Okay, that's gonna be a problem. Isn't that a pretty hard buy? Blah, 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 blah. Isn't that a pretty high bar to set? Ah, such an ignorant peasant. You obviously don't understand the importance of protecting my noble lineage. It's very important that I know how to control women at all times, which is why they'll are uh, lining up to date me. This is worse than I thought. I don't know if any advice is going to help. I see. All right, Leo Kuhn. From what you've told me, we're going to need to change the way you think. A lot. Ha! Huh. You think your impaired peasant mind could, ho could hope to change how I think? Don't make me laugh. Based on what I've heard so far, I should... Take him to the red light district? Give him some perspective. Listen, Leo Kuhn. You know how the universe is incomprehensibly vast? Pardon? Well, yes, I suppose it is. So what? Like, we think it's vast, but it's even vaster than that. Like, vastly so. Get to the point. Compared to the scale of the universe, things like being an aristocrat are utterly insignificant. No, they are not. No, think about it. We're talking about the universe here. It's really, really big. This is stupid. <laughs> I fail to see how this is in any way relevant. I shan't be misled by such inane sophistry. This isn't working. I think I blew it this time. You must put forth more effort than that. I answered your meaningless questions, yet I am still awaiting proper advice. Perhaps I was right about you after all. Okay, sorry. That's not fair. He does need perspective. He is a train wreck. It's just... Shinada's stupid. <laughs> Tell me I don't have to answer the question, ask the questions again. Give him a serious lecture? The red light district seems like such a bad idea. This can't go on, Leo Kuhn. 
Your whole way of thinking is wrong. What? You have not the authority to judge me so. No, you have to listen to me. It's not like I'm a hit with the ladies either, but you're way behind the times. Plus, never having dated a girl at your age is a huge red flag. Most women won't touch you with a, t red, a ten foot toll once, ten foot pole once they hear that. I've only one thing to say to you, Shinada. Go to hell. I live by my own rules, and I shall not allow some witless peasant to violate them. Away with you, commoner. Oops, he's really mad now. Really? The red light did- Alright, let's see what happens. And then watch the transition happen again. Alright, let's take it to the red light district. Finally, some wisdom. I commend you for knowing your place. But you aren't going to give up that easily, are you? That's not what I meant. Get ready, Leo Cone, because I'm going to show you how to be a man in more ways than one. Wait, what? What is this place? One of my favorite places. I reserved the most popular girl for you. What is the meaning of this? I couldn't possibly enter such an establishment. Oh, I should also mention, there's some pretty scary types running the joint. They don't take kindly to sudden cancellations. Shinada, what have you done? Ayano Koji. Sounds, what are you doing? Shouting your name. Don't be so uptight. What? Why do I have to? Ayano Koji! <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine, I'll go. Damn, bitch. All done. So, how was it? How shall I explain? Many things don't seem as important anymore. Nice. I call that a breakthrough. What's that supposed to mean? Admit it. You had a good time. Don't change the subject. You had a good time, right? You... Yes. And you learned it's okay to set the bar... Not... It's okay to not set the bar so high? Yes. And there it is. Nice job, Leo Kuhn. You're on the stairway to manhood. I am? Uh, I mean, I am, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> now you owe me. Ugh, fine. Yes, I owe you. Sweet. I'm gonna hold you- I'm gonna hold you to your word. Now let's see. Maybe I'll have you buy me a TV. No, wait, how about a car? Then again, cash is always king. What? What are you babbling about? You said you wanted some training. Oh, right. I'm gonna beat some lessons into you, so you'd better prepare yourself. Whoa, I don't like the sound of that. But okay, I'll be back when I'm ready. It is like an interesting little, like, it's like a little callback to those stories with like the Prince and the Pauper or whatever. It's our characters characterized as having no money, even though I do have some money all of a sudden. And, uh, although it's like, what, like $300? I think that's like $300. It's technically, so it's something. Not gonna solve his problems. We have this prideful douche that needs to be taken down a peg and it's, needs to learn from the scruffy dude what li what lives in the street and shit. Ah, there you are. What do you want? Train me. Let's train. Very well, but we must needs change locales. Must needs has happened in this game now. Oh, it's surreal. So, what shall we do? What? Aren't you supposed to decide that? But I have nothing. I know nothing about you. How do you expect me to impart my science onto you? Temper, temper, Leo Kuhn. Fine. Let us begin with a contest. I'm quite skilled with weapons, so I'll be armed. 
You can fight barehanded or with a weapon. I'll allow you to do whatever you like. But don't expect reimbursement if you wear out a, battle, a weapon battling me. That might be required. Any repairs that might be required are coming out of your pocket. Eat action's not available, dick. In other words, no fun zone. Alright, let's get started. Are you sure you're prepared? Let's a go. I have a stick. 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 No, I do that button. This is exciting. Ow! Blocking doesn't work there. I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, level 7 steel pipe. He has so much health. This is why I don't do these, because fighting training dudes is really boring and slow and time consuming. And you can't do the only fun part of combat, which is heat actions. Stop! Oh my god, the attack just starts. I've done so little damage. Also, I keep reading- I keep seeing his name in the corner and thinking it says Leo Alvarez. Be a very different training. Stop! He's really annoying. The, the attack goes so rapidly. Am I supposed to win this to continue? Or does losing just mean he knows what to train me on or something? The fact that he can just re-block in the middle of a combo is kind of rough. Because I usually can't do that. go. I can use my heat action. I can use my heat meter in that way. Get thrown, dickhead. How does that make any sense? Is a counter for that shit? It's like playing DOA, just constantly do go for wall damage. button mash for so continuously that I actually like got my arm tired. There we go. There we the secret was to stop using the weapon against the weapon master. Youch! Learn to pull your punches during our lessons, you brute! What? You told me to do whatever I wanted. Fool, is your cranium truly empty? What kind of vassal strikes his lord with all his strength? Wait, when did I go from student to vassal? Shinata, you must learn to show respect for those above your station. I don't know why I expected any better from you, though. And you need to stop being such an ass face, Leo Kun. <laughs> but fine, I apologize profusely for the accident of my birth. Happy? <laughs> I apologize profusely for the accident of my birth. Oh, he's, he's a funny character. 
What? I that is no pol Oh, I, never mind. I grow tired of this farce. At least I know what you are capable of. You're stronger than I thought. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks. Now then, Shinada, did you pick up on anything in particular about my fighting style? Your fighting style? You do one combo over and over again, and then I do a better one, so I won. What are you doing? Why are you training if you cannot be bothered to pay attention? What have I what have I told you about wasting my time? I am taking great care with each blow to ensure my weapons remain in pristine condition. There are ways to lower the stress upon your weapon, no matter what technique you are using. Really? That's the first bit of master-like wisdom I've heard from you so far. Insolent fool, show me some respect. Relax, will you? It's just... I used to play pro baseball, so I get that it's important to treat equipment properly. I'll try to keep that in mind. You learned Thrift Mastery. You're like... Good at... Thrifting. Cool. <laughs> now then, consider this payment for your service as my vassal. You'll have to do something else for me if you want another lesson. Ever expect to learn anything like that? This feudal service thing is totally worth it. Ah, the very model of a peasant. I see you do, you do know your place after all. I look forward to what we, you come up with next. We'll see. How, how badly do I want to invest in the baseball and peasant storylines? Eyes on the ground, achievement unlocked. Some milestone number of things from across the old campaigns, probably. This is my first time checking the taxi routes. Huh. They're decently placed. Mainly in that one of them is by my house and all the other ones are in a slight curve across the screen. That collectively gives you the chance to mostly be able... Oh yeah, it's over there. No, stop chasing me! No, stop chasing me! No, stop chasing me! No, 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 no! You're wasting my time! I value my time more than your survival! That's a bad dynamic for you. It's fine for me. I'll be fine. Dick. <laughs> Owie. You're dead now. Oh! oh! I don't think you need to follow follow up that one with a second hit. I think you got him. KO! You made me further from my goal. How did you this isn't where we fought? How did you drag me all the way back there? Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. The wharf? Huh. That'll come up at some point. <clears throat> uh, maybe I should have checked it. Uh, it'll probably come up at some point on its own. My reason why I said I should have checked it maybe is I had the thought that maybe there's another sub-quest there. My sub-stories are at 12 out of 15. Oh my god. So there's three more left. Yeah, I yeah, I don't know. Maybe one, maybe one of them would be at the wharf. But re realistically, based on how these usually go, they probably just add more later in a future chapter. You don't usually get all of them in the in the first open world segment. But I don't know. That I, I got all the way to chapter two before I even had access to the normal world again. So they might go right back to that later and be like, all right, back to being on rails for the rest of the campaign. Alright, let's... I, have not, I haven't healed for a bit, or saved for a bit. My sentence got fucked up because I had the word heal in my mind, because I was also about to say, maybe resting will heal my face. Or it'll just change color. <laughs> let's find out. Sleep sounds awesome! Wahoo!
おはよう高杉さん今日も早いっすねお前ずいぶんすっきりした顔してんじゃねえかよ風俗場に一発寝てもらったのかお前<笑>ま似たところかなあの男の依頼受ける覚悟がついたんだなもう過去から逃げたりしないどうせ逃げられっこないんだどうして俺が球界を永久追放されなきゃならなかったのか突き止めてみせるよそもそも野球賭博に関係してると疑われたきっかけは何なんだ当時ニュースになったとはいえ15年も前のことだ俺もよく覚えちゃいねえし少し説明してくれねえか15年前のワイバーンズギガンツ戦9回裏ツーアウト一打サヨナラのチャンスにワイバーンズ藤田監督が代打に送ったのはそれがプロ初打席となる無名のルーキーつまり俺だった対するピッチャーはギガンツのエース澤田澤田の必要なカーブを俺はカットして粘りそして運命の7球目澤田が初めて投げたストレートを俺のバットが捉え打球はスタンド席に吸い込まれていった俺の人生で最高の瞬間だっただがそのホームランにケチがついたそうその翌日あのサヨナラホームランが不正行為サイン等の結果によるものだったとして取り消されたんだ相手チームのサインは見てはいけない見えたとしても解読しようとしてはいけないそれが野球の掟きなんだお前がサイン等を行っていたという証拠でも出てきたのか VTR に映ってたとかいやそういうわけじゃないならどうして俺がギガンツのサインを盗むように命令してスタンド席からそれを俺に伝えるように指示されていたという男が名乗り出たんだそいつの証言が元でプロ野球連盟と警察が捜査に乗り出したってわけ誰なんだそいつは俺の高校の野球部の後輩だった俺から多額の金をもらって引き受けたけど両親が咎め自首したんだってさだがお前はそんな命令をした覚えはないと当然でしょう金を渡すどころか何年も顔を合わせてなかったのにじゃあそいつがお前に濡れ衣を着せたってことか何でまたさあね俺もなんでそんな嘘ついたのかその後輩を問い詰めたけど結局何も聞き出せなかったそのすぐ後そいつは行方不明になっちまったしね何だとまさか他の誰かに消されたってことなのかさあそれはどうだろうどちらにしろ俺一人では真相を探れそうにもなかったとにかく俺はその日からずっと自分の過去から目を背け風俗ライターとして生きてきたんだはあんお前さっき警察の捜査に乗り出したって言ったかサイン通ってそんなに重い罪なのかことが野球賭博に関係していると見られたからね一選手が打率を上げたいがためにやったことならまだしもでかい金が動く組織的な賭博容疑になっちまったし挙句チーム全体にまで捜査の手は伸びることになったってことはひょっとしたらお前個人への恨みとかじゃなくワイバーンズを潰すために仕込まれた罠だったって可能性もあるってことかそうだとしたらそれは結果的に失敗だねあの事件で球界を追われたのはチームでも俺だけそれにあとは藤田監督が騒動の責任を取らされ辞任に追い込まれただけだ藤田かそういや昨日のニュース見たか東京で監督に復帰したみたいだな15年前にワイバーンズの監督を辞任してから
ずいぶん長かったなこの人はあの一件で俺以上に人生を狂わせちまった人なんだよあんなに俺によくしてくれたっていうのにお前が一軍にいたのが一日だけならそこまで世話になる関係もねえだろうそんなことない二軍で腐りかけていた俺を見つけてくれたのが藤田さんだったんだ二軍の指導法じゃ俺本来の良さが出ないって言ってじきじきに指導してくれてそのアドバイスがあって俺は一軍に上がれたようなもんなんだ恩師みたいなものだったってことかでもそうか考えたことなかったけど藤田監督を失脚させるために俺を利用したって可能性もあったのかだとしたら俺本当に自分が情けないよ恩をあだで返すってこういうことを言うんだねまあ本当の狙いが誰であれ事件の裏で必ず得した人間がいるはずだってなきゃ無名の選手をはめる理由なんてねえからなとりあえずだ当時のチームメートとかに片っ端から聞いて回るっていうのはどうだ球団を辞めてからチームメートとは一切連絡取ってないんださっきも言ったようにあの一件でチーム全体にも野球賭博疑惑がかかったりして今さら合わせる顔もないって感じなんだけどね唯一知ってるとしたら球団専属のマッサージ師だった人が金栄町にいるんだマッサージ師おいそれってもしかしてお前が金を借りてるあいつのことかうん宇野さん今は小さな鍼灸院やってる風俗狂いなんだけどチームメートからの信頼は厚い人だったその鍼灸院の場所はおびいた通りと紬通りの交差してるあたり早速行ってみます Meet up with Uno. Nope. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't like how that guy just finds every main character and stares at their house. <laughs> It's just a very strange dynamic. So, this guy knows about Milky Chan. So, we get to worry about that. Like, that's a, that's a setup and payoff to worry about. Whether he'll have like some kind of heart of gold moment and help her, or he'll specifically like track her down and use her against us. まりもしねえでのんきなやつで宇野さんまたどっかの風俗行ってるなだったらここでマストしようすっきりしたら戻ってくんだろそれが今宇野さんすっきりできるお金ないんじゃないかな俺から3万回収しようとしてたくらいだからじゃあ何しに風俗行ってんだよそんな時は決まって写真見学回り永遠にお店をはしごして写真を見てるよじゃあいつ帰ってくるかもわからねえじゃないかよ探しに行くしかないね<笑>機嫌に何店舗あると思ってんだよお前宇野さんは新人好きだから新しい子が入った店をしらみつぶしに探していけば会えるはず。So, how do we go about finding a fresh face in one of those, ma massa those massage parlors? I'm sure a nightlife navigator like you knows all, of that, that, all about that naughty stuff. Not off the top of my head, no. But take a look. If we ask at an info booth like one over here, we should come up with some leads. <laughs> Makes sense, but damn. Never thought my job would have me hunting down a pervert hunting for prey. 
Life sure takes you strange places. Is this even that weird by your job standards, honestly? Two warriors in the warpath. Those who are looking for the best arrival win back the girl or launch a raid on an enemy's turf announcing the opening of Kamiya. Okay, that's Kamiya. There's a car on the map now somewhere. Welcome. What sort of girl are you looking for today, sir? Hmm. I think I'd like someone who's still kind of new. Ah, a true connoisseur. Someone new and exciting coming right up. Okay, the two newest ones are Momoe-chan from Resort Boeing, Boing, and Noriko-chan from Boom and Bust. I got two choices, huh? Okay, tell me about them both. Momoe-chan's 29 years old, with a hefty pair of Ds! She's got that real erotic mix of adult sultriness along with a fresh-faced newbie appeal. Hmm, okay, and what about Noriko-chan? Noriko-chan is 25. And's a real perky little gal. She's got bee cups along with a fit body that makes all the guys in, in Kineicho drool. They sure do sound different, that's for sure. I wonder which one Yuno-san would go for. If he likes new girls, wouldn't he go for the younger one? There is that, but he's a pretty twisted guy. An older girl who's new at the job it might be just the kind of thing that'll get him going. He's a pretty twisted guy for that? Right. Anyway, my vote's for Noriko. Yeah, I'm still not so sure. Oh, mind telling me uh, where those two places are? Momoe-chan is in, in at Resort at Resort Boing, the south end of Sumigi Street. Noriko-chan's at Boom and Bust, north of Kumano Boulevard. Thanks. Now, which one should I go to? Let's see. Try going south first. No! I'm busy! Fucker! <laughs> I beat you by hitting Y a lot. Congrats. Also, your friend didn't help. Didn't even know he was here. He's dead now. Are you the last combatant? <laughs> you also didn't help. You're all bad at this. No, I wasted my stuff. Whee! Oh, this is the really long one. You're gonna, you're gonna, oh, he's gonna have a bad day. Oh, he's gonna have a bad day. Jesus Christ. How do you even have time to practice that? What? How many of you are there? What the fuck? Where are you? Where all? Where were all of you? You were all late for the fight. This is a waste. You get the butt. That was bizarre how much that looked like it was a one-on-one -on -one fight, and then suddenly it was like one on like eight. Beautiful branch has a strained power to draw in those who behold it. Maybe you could use it for something. Okay, what are those for? Two separate people gave me those. It just seemed odd. Can I equip it? Long past its sell-by date. It's not even close. Kind of a dick move.
Ah, return trip to Resort Boeing. How I miss your comforts. You sure your guy would go for the older, older chick? I don't know about this one. Oh, believe me. That man is warped beyond salvation. He'll rub himself on anything, even a disgusting 29-year-old adult woman. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I, I oscillate so rapidly on Shinada, where it's like, he's very funny, entertaining, and his plot setup is is the most interesting of any of the characters in this game so far. And then he just says the, just, what the fuck shit. It's like, what? Welcome. <clears throat> Will you both be getting a massage today? No, sorry. I just wanted to ask if a guy c came looking for your new girl. A balding, middle-aged guy. Is anyone like that? Uh, I, I think that's, I think that's their, half of their clientele. Yeah. Hmm. I don't recall any, seeing anyone with that description, no. Really? No one in Japan is coming to a, a massage parlor who is middle-aged and balding. The most discerning details you could possibly give someone. Ugh, that's a strike. See, I told you. You went straight for the younger babe. Hmm, looks like it. Then I guess we're off to boom and bust in the north end of Kamurocho, Kam, Kam, Kumano Boulevard. Sort of turning into an adventure, wouldn't you say? Oh, sure, it's a real excursion. We're just walking around a block. They're literally just on opposite sides of one block. Like... <laughs> the conversation of him being like, Are you sure? I think you might have picked wrong was longer than the process of checking. You fools. You fools! How the fight took longer than checking. That's the real cost. The human cost. There we are. Boom and bust. A little room, a lot of lust. <laughs> I'll bet he went with a younger girl, being that he likes them all innocent. I don't like this conversation anymore. That would be a reasonable assumption. Welcome. Party of two? Yeah, we're gonna get massages together. We're gonna hold hands the whole time. No, we're just looking for someone. This guy, his description. Oh, he's a peeping photo after photo, girl after girl. And then he just up and left. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Think we found our man. Know which way he went? See that information booth across the street? I believe he headed in there. Another one. Ah, so Unosan resumes his hunt to humor his hidden desires. How's that for a headline? This fucking guy. He's a horny boy! Okay. Oh, perfect. I actually know this guy. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, hey, Shinata-san, what's up? What's new? Not much. Listen, did a middle-aged guy come through here? Kinda mopey, lacking in the hair department, most likely asking for amateurs. Oh yeah, I do remember someone like that. Why? What's going on? Nothing. We just need to talk. Any idea where he went? Hmm, not too sure. I did tell him about two of the newest recruits. Fuck. So he might have gone to see what, uh, at least one of them. Again with the wild goose chase. Can you tell me about those recruits? Sure, uh, there's Kurei-chan at Operation Panties, and this uh, and this lady is dynamite. She's 34, but she doesn't look a day over 20. She's hot, fellas. Kurei-chan's an industry vet, too, which means she's not really an amateur. She's just changed parlors. Makes me wax philosophical over the meaning of age. That's inspiring. And the other one? That'd be Mika-chan over at Rub and Tux. <laughs> The girl's barely 20. We're talking fresh, farm fresh, gents. I don't like the terminology for any of this. And I kid you not, she's got zero industry experience. Unfortunately, she's not, she's not all that attractive in terms of both looks and personality. So don't expect much, too much out of her. I relayed all that, that to your buddy, too. Sheesh, could these bimbos be any more different? Hmm. So a hot, promiscuous prodigy who's actually more mature than she lets on. Or an innocent young flower whose petals have yet to unfurl. Never mind the fact that she has nothing going for her. NOTHING GOING FOR HER! 
Oh my god! <laughs> Vicious. I see. It's a test for how Uno-san would define his ideal amateur. I don't give a damn how this guy thinks. This one's on you, buddy. Okay, by the way, where are these places? Okay. It's on Icho Street. Utamato. South end of Sumiki Street. Uh, for real? He should hate the idea of Uno Sans shuffling around with a stiffy in his slack so close to home. Well, I guess we gotta get going. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. Fuck, did I lose track of which one was which already? Well, one of them's right here, so I'll just check that one, I guess. I'm just thinking about how differently, in the, especially in the furry community, gay people talk about other dudes. It's like... I know that when you, if you get on Grinder and whatnot, there's a lot of, like, very picky objectification and things get rude and unpleasant and so on. But, like, a lot of the things that people would traditionally describe as unattractive are, like, specific traits that people want. Including both age and, like, being overweight and so on are, like, pluses half the time. So, like, it's just such a different thing. I'm like, wow, this is vicious. And it's also creepy. Like, I never, like... I never, I, 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 it's so unusual to hear anything along the lines of like, oh yeah, you better get them twinks while they're young, f just fresh out of high school, get out they, before they lose their value. It's like, it's like a completely different fucking way of talking about human beings, and it's just deeply off-putting. Long-awaited Operation Panties begins now. Alright, so we're gonna check on this person. We're wondering if a middle-aged man came by. Nope, haven't seen anyone like that. There you have it, Unison's passion for amateurs runs deep, even deeper than beauty itself. His passion is deeply misguided. Well, that just leaves rub and tux, shall we? Just saving my time, because it's just right here. There's a question of that it might be a failure state, like if you pick the wrong one, you get sent on another wave of looking for him again or something. But I figure it's all unique dialogue and locations, so they probably can't map that many of them. They probably aren't unique. <clears throat> so maybe you always have to find him again after the first time? We'll see. I don't know. It's not really testable without saving and doing it again. Like, I think there was a correct answer and a right and a wrong answer, so you, it would have been longer or shorter based on that, but that's it. Oh, is that him? That guy's vibing. Literally. <laughs> なんでだよ。冷やかし大歓迎という表に書いてるだろ。これでも<笑> <笑>働きなよ、いや、いいっすよ、そんな。Oh, <笑>俺は あいつはい。一番長いコースで。はい。よろしくお願いします。
新旧院に戻りますか Just the surrealness of him putting on a voice. <laughs> He's sitting there putting on a voice, and then behind him, that fucking chef guy is still staring at my apartment. It's just a strange combo. Ay! Shara! Tashibuka! Nantoka! Ayaku! I came out of fucking nowhere. I thought it was maybe one of those moments where you take a photo, like you learn a, a lesson or something, which is making me realize that I'm like, I'm in my fourth campaign and I've seen like two of those this entire game. Like, I, I, I don't even know how you're supposed to spot them. Like, they, they basically hide them like a secret. I don't remember if there's even a trick to finding them or what. Jesus! Oi, <laughs> This isn't even bad luck. Someone's trying to final destination you. Jesus Christ. What is happening? I'm just being hunted. What is it? What? Shara! Tashibuka! Nantoka! This is getting weird really rapidly. Why is this exact moment when I started getting hunted? I'm gonna get covered in acupuncture needles, aren't I? いらっしゃい。で、お前か。お金ならちゃんと払うよ。あの闇金屋の金だろ。その闇金屋ならここにいるけど。ハディーイヴンゲットイン。うのさんの客としてなら問題ないでしょ。横になれ。Didn't he react お前の体を見るのは俺も青函以外のマッサージを受けるのは現役の時以来だよ宇野さん以外に筋肉触られたくなかったしねトレーナー妙理に尽きる言葉だ宇野さんどうして球団専属やめちゃったの宇野さんほ
お前からそんな話振ってくるなんて珍しいな得をした人間いるわけねえだろう監督選手ファン誰もいいことなんてあれしなかったおまけにヤクザまで損したもんだヤクザ覚えてねえかお前の八百長容疑がきっかけになって野球賭博が一斉摘発されたのああそういや当時この辺りで賭博の利権を持ってた二つの組もよ摘発のせいでしのぎ削れなくなって名古屋から撤退したって話だ二つの組ああ東と西のでっかい組だよ東場会と近江連合だっけ昨日牛島さんの店でその組の人たち見たよお前あん時のプロ野球選手だってバレたらぶっ殺されてもおかしくないぜ大丈夫だよ金営で俺の過去を知ってるのは宇野さんだけだしなんであんなことが起きちまったんだろうなみんなただ野球をやってただけなのに何が野球とばくだ結局宇野さんに聞いても手がかりなしかよし調整完了あ,ああ久しぶり体軽くなった当たり前だろ俺を誰だと思ってんだよ悪いね宇野さん変なことばっか聞いちゃってまおかげで風俗代稼げたぜじゃありがとうんおい品田携帯忘れちまってんぞなっ宇野さん思い出したまさかあの時の携帯のせいなのかん携帯がどうかしたんですかほらさっき話したろ15年前俺が突然クビになった時のことだ実はあの時も今みたいに選手がマッサージルームに忘れていった携帯を届けたことがあったんだああ誰の携帯あれはそう確か真鍋だ真鍋の携帯だったああ真鍋さん真鍋っつったら当時ワイバーンズの4番打てたあの真鍋かそうだあの時真鍋は携帯をなくして大騒ぎしていたんだこれ誰の携帯だその日マッサージルームに忘れてあった携帯を見つけた俺は急いでロッカールームに持って行ったそしたらおいどこだ俺の携帯がなくなっとるぞ誰か知らんかおいああのー、真鍋さんこれタケなんでてめえが持ってるんだああ真鍋は俺から携帯を取り上げると必死になって何かをチェックしたちょちょっと真鍋さんありがとうの一言くらい言ってくれても<笑>ちょっと真鍋さんそれよりおめえ携帯の中見てねえだろうなあの時の真鍋の目あれは普通のもんじゃなかった携帯の中には何があったんださああの頃は俺もまだ自分の携帯なんて持ってなかったから使い方がよく分からず何も見やしなかっただが今思えばあの時の真鍋の態度はちょっと変だったひょっとしてその携帯野球賭博に関係していたとかメールで指示が来ていたとかありえるなあんたは野球賭博に関するメールを見たと疑われそれで球団をクビになったそうかそういうことだったのか真鍋さんを調べてみる必要がありそうだね今何してるかわかる
確か5年ぐらい前に引退したよなああその後いろいろ事業を起こしたんだがことごとく全部失敗して今は狩場町で小さな焼肉屋をやってる焼肉屋か一度食いに行ってやったら追い返されたそう思うとますます怪しく感じてきたな焼肉屋俺も行ってみるよありがとう Poor guy got caught in the crossfire. Oh, it's time to go to the. Actually, it might not even be the wharf. It might be a new location they added just for this. But first, it's time to save. Right, because that's like old cell phones, right? The flip phones. So they couldn't lock them back then. So there was like a genuine concern that he could have been caught. But、uh, he could have made accusations after he was fired, still, too, so. Wouldn't exactly cover their ass.